What is up? It is your boy in here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a banger because we're going to be doing a review on the 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. This thing is a beast and I definitely think you should stay tuned. Grab some popcorn, get a cup of your favorite drink, sit back, relax. How are we going to do this? We're gonna walk around this truck. I'm gonna show you guys all the goodies on the outside. Then we're gonna step inside. Then we're gonna take this on the road. I'm gonna give you guys my on-road impressions and that'll take care of this video. So before we go any further, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. We're at around 430 subscribers and I'm really trying to get to a thousand and it would mean a lot. Other than that, that's enough chitter chat. Let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so we're gonna start in the front of the truck. First things first, this grill is new to the 2020, 2021 models. I do know it comes on the TRD Sport and the TRD Off-Road. It looks a lot cleaner than the previous years and the simple fact that most of us don't like the chrome on the trimming of it. So this one gets rid of that chrome and then it leaves it at a very nice gray, like a matte gray finish and it looks super clean. Over here, we do have the standard LED slash halogen headlight. Now only this part right here, this L shape there, is LED, you can definitely step up and get the package where it comes with a C like this. That is LED. I did not opt for that option. I just got the standard headlights. One of the cool things about this truck is it does come with the hood scoop. Now you get that hood scoop when you get any TRD Sport model or the TRD Pro, but uh, I didn't go with the TRD Pro, I went with the TRD Sport. And I'll give you guys one more good look at this. Now, being a TRD Sport, you also get this bumper down here, color matched. You get a TRD off-road, it does come uh, blacked out. Moving around to the side here, you do see these new 17 inch rims. What do you guys think? I think they look pretty sweet. When I used to have an SR5, I always wanted to upgrade to a TRD Sport or a TRD Off-Road, and I didn't like the Sport simply because the rims, and boy oh boy do I love them now. So these are 17 inch rims. They come with the Firestone Destination LE2s. The tire size is a 265, 65, 17. They're super nice wheels. I love to keep them clean, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like that works out very easily. Now, this being a TRD Sport model, it does come with different suspension. I'll try to give you guys a look here. Now it is still very solid suspension. This is just more refined and tuned for on-road use. If you go for a TRD off-road, you do get better off-roading suspension, obviously, with the rear locking differential. Now this package that I got on my Tacoma comes with all of the emblems blacked out. It also comes with those mud flaps. Again, those are optional. It doesn't come on every model. Around back, you see the TRD 4x4 Sport. If you get a TRD Sport that's just two-wheel drive, or a TRD off-road that's just two-wheel drive, it'll have the same sticker just without the 4x4 on it. To fill this bad boy up, it's around $45, and it's a 21-gallon gas tank. Moving around back, there are some things that I've added to this truck. The 4x4, the yellow sticker, and then the little monkey, but everything else comes on this truck. The V6 is blacked out with that package that I got on this truck. The black dots that you see on the bumpers are due to the parking sensors and the backup radars. That is also another package, a technology package that I got on this truck. I definitely recommend it if you have the choice to get it. It does help out in tight situations when you're trying to park and you're worried about hitting something. Moving on to the bed, you do have a dampened tailgate, so when you pull it down, it won't slam hard. Now this is the standard size bed it's a five foot bed and as you can see it does offer some good space it does have these bed cleats or bed clamps whatever you want to call them and those come stock i'm pretty sure in all the trucks that i've gotten at least you got your 12 volt power outlet right there and a little cubby for space um one of the first things this is a side note but one of the first things i did to my tacoma is actually buy this bed mat just because the bed does get scuffed up a little bit easier so that's just a heads up uh, if you're looking to buy this truck moving around to the exhaust tip with that blackout package you also get that black exhaust tip speaking of which let's take a listen Moving away here, let's just get a further look at this truck. In my opinion, it's absolutely breathtaking here in the quicksand color. It's super sweet and super sleek. I definitely appreciate, you know, this color in the sun. All right, so we are in the cabin now and I'm just gonna work from my left 
to my right and we can go over some of the features in this truck. On your driver's side door, you do have all the control panels for your windows. The back two are not automatic, front two are automatic. You got your lock, unlock, or other way around, and then you can lock your windows if you don't want your, your buddies messing with it. You also got your mirror adjustments here, so that's pretty neat. I like it that it's there. Then down here you have some extra controls. This is standard, this turns on that light for the bed just in case you need it. Um, I leave it on for whenever I open the door just in case you know I have groceries or something back there. Then this light is pretty neat. So you hit this button and when you turn on your high beams, it'll actually turn on or off depending if there's traffic in front of you. This is for that power outlet back there. This third button, I'm not sure if there's anything that you could actually get there from stock, but I do know if you want to swap it out for something later, you definitely can. This here turns on the automatic LSD, limited slip deferential, or you can even turn traction control off with that button. Moving to the steering wheel, I definitely like this. It's a, such a nice leather. I've had it on the past two trucks, and it's definitely worth having. It's something that once you have it, you cannot go back. So here you can answer, decline calls, you know, you can put someone on hold, you can talk to your system here, you just press this button, and then you tell it what to do. Obviously your volume knobs turn up, turn down, change the songs. This here actually helps you with the inf information cluster up here. I'll actually show you a little bit more once we turn this bad boy on. Then you can see here are some of your safety features. With this, it's lane departure alert and here you can actually, it's a radar cruise control so you can set it up to keep a distance between you and the car ahead of you. It's great on long road trips. So the information cluster, I think it looks super sweet. As you can tell, we're at 12,000 miles. So I know my stuff if I don't say so myself about this truck. Moving down here, we got our start stop button right here, our four wheel drive. You can pop it into four high. If you ever need to know, pop it into four low, you put this thing in neutral pop it onto four low, let it engage, and then you're good to go. Here, obviously your air conditioning features, cold, hot, and then wherever you would like it to face. Here, this is a pretty neat feature. You click this button, and if it's in the winter time, these will actually defrost. Very, very useful. We have blind spot monitoring here. So if I turn that button on, there's a little icon over here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but it will actually turn on if there's a car in my blind spot. Super sweet. Again, I love that on long road trips. ECT power, electronically controlled transmission. It pretty much just gives you a little bit more RPM when you need it the most. So those black buttons that I told you about on the bumpers of the back of the car, these this will actually turn on and it will beep at you. When you get too close to an object, this right here is for your powered window in the rear. It is a small window, but it definitely is a cool thing to have. Right here, this one is very important. This is how you actually access Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is also standard on the eight inch infotainment system. Right here, you got the Qi charger, which is pretty sweet. You just put that thing on there, turn it on, and you know, you got your wireless charging station there. You got your standard 12 volt, which is also a must. Took me a little bit to get it open there, but there you go. You got the eight inch screen in the 2020 models. I think it is super, super sweet. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on and take a look at the information cluster. So you get everything turned on. You get a nice little Tacoma that pops up, greets you. We're gonna be controlling everything from here, self-explanatory. We're gonna go down. You know, you get your average fuel economy there, your distance of the trip, and then that tells you if one of your, your safety features is on. Right there, I turned lane departure alert, but it, you do have to be above 32 miles per hour. Tire pressure, let's give that a second. It should turn on and let you know what you're at. Any messages, like if you need to change your oil or maintenance, stuff like that. And then you have some settings. You can change the color in here, which is pretty cool. Um, I leave it mine at the standard color because when you turn on your lights at nighttime, they all light up at the same color um, as this blue up here. So I like everything to match. That's pretty much it there. We're gonna go over to the infotainment system. So you obviously got your home button, your menu. This pops up all of your information. Audio, you go here. You obviously have to have something on. Then you can go to your song list, your connected, your sound. You can adjust this sound. You know, you can mess with your settings there. Map button does not work on this trim. You do need to have a higher trim. And then you go to your phone here. If you have the phone connected, it'll show all of the contacts. Then you go to applications, and depending on what applications you have, I don't have any but the notifications. Uh, you can update this as well, and it's gonna be downloading in the background. Down here you got park, reverse, neutral, drive, sport, up, sport, down. I do like that we have this break here. Some people like it down by the foot. I'm a fan of it right here, just so that I can always remember and not drive with it on. I've actually never driven with it on. Over here at the driver's seat, you only have your one window. It is automatic, thankfully enough. 
You got a couple cup holders down there. You got your glove compartment, pretty spacious. I did get a spacer there. If you're interested in that, it's linked below, but I got that just so that I didn't have so much clutter. Now, we are gonna take a look at the driver's seat because this is a very, a very important feature here. You get the power adjusted seats now. So it goes back front, up, or up, down, and then you can even, you know, move the, obviously that, and then you have your lumbar support, which I think is very important. Alrighty, so now we're gonna take a look at the back seat and how much back seat space you actually get. So the back is actually fairly simple. So this is gonna be my demo here for the back. It is the same thing on the other side. You just get your window control, your door lever to open and close. And one thing that's pretty neat is you do get child lock, which is located right here. Turn it on and off. Something I like, okay? I don't really use this back seat. I use it for, you know, just groceries or whatever I need it to be used for. But I open this up and you have storage right there for stuff that you need now and then, but you don't always need it out and about. So in here, I open it up and I have some soccer cones and I also have the sun shield. This is cool because you can also do it to the other side and it's a bit of a longer compartment. It, it is taken up a little bit by your spare tire remover. Now we're going to pop this lever here. And you pop that open you have some com you have some storage back here again stuff that you need but not all the time so at my driving position i'm 510 this is how much you know the seat is back and i drive comfortably this is how much space another person at 510 would have i think it's pretty comfortable i was actually pretty surprised i would like a little bit more just for the center seat and i'll show you why so if i was sitting in the middle here with no one else you kind of sit <laughs> like you're in first grade again and it's not the most comfortable thing sitting like this, especially for long car rides. If you're just taking your buddy home, I don't know why he would choose the middle seat, but again, it's just not the most comfortable. So it'd be cool if this seat just had a little bit more leg room so that he could just take a chill pill and relax. So now we're on the driving portion of this video. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of like on-road footage as I spoke to you guys about my on-road experience after owning this truck for over 10,000 miles. This truck is great as a daily driver. My girlfriend daily drives it as right now I'm working from home and she doesn't have any problem with it except for getting off the line. She feels like it's very sluggish. And if you own a Tacoma or if you ever owned a Tacoma or if you've seen any other Tacoma review, that is the same issue that we all have. It does feel like a little bit slow when you're trying to go. But other than that, I have no problem with it at all. Now, I wasn't able to have a lot of time with the TRD off-road. When I was looking to get this truck, they drove us around in an off-road, but I can't speak too much about that suspension. All I know about this suspension is it's very nice. It was very stiff when I first bought it, but I feel like as I'm getting more miles on it, it's starting to loosen up a little bit and just give that better on-road ride quality. At the end of the day, it's still a truck, so it's not gonna ride around like a luxurious truck. It's gonna ride around like a Tacoma and I love it. I have no problem with it. I really enjoy this truck. I feel like, again, the only issues is just getting up to speed. I've had no issues um, at all with, you know, it having any powertrain issues, it hasn't turned off on me. No issues of any sort other than some that I've already covered on my channel where there was an oil leak and yeah, that's about it. But that was a, uh, an issue on Toyota's side. Um, on road, the on road presence is pretty sweet. You get a lot of stairs. I'm not sure if it's just the color. I like the color, it's very unique. But when you're on the road, you feel at a good height. You know, sometimes you come across your Raptors or your Tundras and you feel a little bit intimidated. But when you're against other cars, you feel more than comfortable and you're not too worried about being the smaller person on the road. So right here, we're gonna do a little bit of an acceleration test. No, I think you're fine here. So that was just getting up to speed. I haven't ran it to 60. I'm, if you're interested in that and seeing how fast the Tacoma can get up to 60, definitely subscribe because I will be making that in a later video. And you know how the how you can get to 60 the fastest as well. But that's gonna wrap up the driving portion of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys wanna see more of this, again, it's my truck, so I can do these videos a lot more often. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below. All right, man. Well, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. I am trying to make my way to 1,000 subscribers. We're around 430 right now, and it would mean a lot if you did leave a subscription like i said earlier other than that man it's been your boy i'm out like an audi i'll see you tomorrow single tomorrow peace